This is Moises Velasquez Manoff in front of the clinic in Tijuana, Mexico, where he paid $2,300 to be infected with hookworm, a parasite. What's the process? Put it on a bandage, and they put the bandage against your skin, and you feel this itch. It is the, the microscopic larvae burrowing through your skin. Ugh. It's not any worse than mosquito bite, really. Yes, he is sane. He did it to get better. Moises's hair started falling out when he was 11 due to alpecia areata, an autoimmune disorder which sometimes goes hand in hand with asthma, which he also suffers with to this day. So the theory basically is that we don't have enough parasites these days? Yes, in a matter of speaking. We basically got rid of these parasites that were with us for... Uh, thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of years. Multiple sclerosis, Crohn's disease, and other autoimmune diseases are surging in richer countries. But in researching his new book on these diseases, Moises visited a tribe in the Bolivian Amazon where these diseases are practically non-existent. Some researchers believe it's because of parasites like hookworm. Our immune system expects them to be there, and then they go missing. Our immune system starts making mistakes, like mistaking pollen for a deadly invader. The theory, with no outside threats, the immune system turns on us, causing allergies and autoimmune diseases. So this sort of flies against the face of everything we've come to believe in ways, that the more hygienic, uh, the more sanitary our environment is, the better off we are, the more we can stave off deadly disease. One way to look at this is that it's just coming, it's just science coming to understand the nuances of our relationship with microbes. And there are ones that are bad for us and there are ones that are good for us. Like hookworm, maybe. How'd it make you feel? Uh, very terrible at first. Uh, I had pretty strong uh, immune response. Just uh, sort of what's called epigastric pain, aching right around here, um, and, you know, sort of lethargy. You know, it wasn't terrible, but it, it definitely didn't feel good. And it didn't cure his asthma or grow his hair back either, though he says he did get some benefits. Uh, with alopecia, your nails grow and pitted. That sort of improved. I had peach fuzz growing here and there. Moises met other patients who he says did find relief from the hookworm treatment, including this severe case of psoriasis, before and after. But he recognizes that anecdotes are not the same as scientific evidence, nor reason to try this at home. I don't re recommend that anyone does this at all. I did it with full knowledge of the dangers, and I, would not and I wouldn't do it again. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.